Hi, in this video we will learn to read data from a semicolon separated delimited file. For this purpose, we have another native function in R which is read.delim. We generally pass three arguments to it. First argument is the file name along with complete path where file is located if this file is not located at the default working directory. Second argument is the separator such as semicolon, hyphen, tab or even comma. The third argument passed to the function is whether or not the first row contains the name of the column using header equals to true or false. Let me show you the file and the data in it before we read it into R. We hit keys Ctrl plus O on the keyboard to open the working files folder and the file that we are interested in is delim.txt. Right click and open the file to see the content of it. The first row shows the column names while second and third rows are the observations and we can observe that the observations are semicolon separated. Let's close this and close this dialog box in the R studio and on the script editor we write the command to read this file. This native function read.delim reads the file from its location and identifies how the observations are separated from each other in this case a semicolon and passes header equals true means the name of the columns would be assigned from the first row of the data in the file. After reading the file the data will be stored into the object delim underscore data and will be available in the global environment here. Let's run this code and we can see delim underscore data object is available to us. Let's click on this one and I can see the column names A, B, C are assigned and second and third rows of observations are stored into rows of this data frame over here. In the next video, we will learn to read data from a JSON file. Thank you.